lies in dreams in imagination and in the courage of those who dare to make dreams into reality hello everyone i am seema and i welcome you all to another insightful session on great principles joining me in converse, uh, conversation is my very very resolute educator of the day dr anurup kaur principal bharatram global school indirapuram up welcome to great principles ma'am we are really honored to have you with us thank you very much Seema, it's uh, really my pleasure to be here, and uh, I'm really thankful to all of you to give this opportunity to me. And we are so excited to hear about your journey. You hail from a family of educators. Your mother was an educator, and you're so inspired by her that today, you know, you are carrying on that legacy. I can just visualize you and your mom sitting together over a coffee and discussing. Okay, so what used to happen in my time and now? So, uh, is there any chit chat that you guys do? We would love to know that. And you know, what are the virtues of your mother? You have carried forward as an educator. I would like to know that. yes um very true that uh, you are sharing about my mother my mother is my inspiration she is a retired teacher um i have always seen her treating her students like her own kids she was not even bothered of money time or anything while helping them i used to see i um, mean in the evening there were many students who used to come to our place to take help especially in mathematics and she was so kind to everyone at that time i mean she is still trying to help at this age so uh, i mean that was the real inspiration that made me uh, feel that i can also choose this profession and uh, it became my passion after that um i would like to share one thing more here as we say that in 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 india um after marriage it is a new life of every woman my mother in law my new mother after my marriage you know i got inspired from her also she motivated me to become a passionate teacher basically she made me realize what is the passion and she used to run her own play school it was the only play school in the locality at that time where with other students she used to give free education to many needy students you know um, i mean pandit ji was there in temple unke bahut se janne wale unke apne bacche and you know one of the child of that pandit ji she topped in class 10 and after that she joined me in one of my school as a physics pgt so you know i i came to know all these things uh, from my mother in law my mother and uh, this actually inspired me every time and i really uh, feel that i'm blessed to have mothers like this so uh, basically Uh, whatever i am i'm just because of them wow so your story is a true example of when women support each other then miracles happen and uh, yes. this is what we have witnessed today so you know so this is a learning that we all need to support each other in our journey in whichever role we may be you know there are so many females all around us as our mothers mother in law sisters bhabhis and what all our list goes on very true. but you know very much is required to know each other's strength work on the weakness and help together so ma'am your journey is such a beautiful one to inspire all the lovely ladies out there to help the coming generation so that they can help them to bring out the best in them i'm i'm so you know happy to know this today that we have such kind of things happening now P- women are supporting each other so that everyone flourishes wonderful so moving ahead in a conversation so you know uh, you have you have been mentored by many educators to be their best version you have mentored them and uh, your expertise in education is there so uh, i would uh, like to ask you here where you were you ever offered any mentorship when you were a teacher to become a leader you are today yes very true and um, these are the memorable uh, you know events and uh, moments which i still cherish so many times it happened in my first job before my marriage um 
I got a chance to become a mentor of activity teachers of my school. as it was my passion to integrate activities with curriculum i'm talking about uh, uh, i mean so you can say 20 uh, more than 20 years back uh, it is uh, it was uh, 1999 so at that time you know my principal gave me a chance to conduct sessions for the teachers of different subjects my principal was my mentor he um, actually motivated me and the best thing that i would like to share um, it was the same school where i studied basically and i got the job there so um, when he saw me working like a passionate teacher he actually and he saw my strategies nowadays we are talking about nep and to integrate activities with our curriculum but i was doing at that time by my own so uh, when he saw this uh, you know a uh, kind of uh, feel that i was having in bond feeling so um, uh, my principal suggested me to take sessions for the teachers of different subjects along with activity teachers and uh, stem was not existing but i used to integrate music art drama and many other activities to make my uh, you know classes interesting and this chance uh, was given as i uh, shared like in 1999 and that gave me a lot of popularity i'm still passionate to do all these things to see my creativity um, you can uh, visit my youtube channel that is integrated activities with anu so even um, i'm open to help any teacher whosoever wants to i uh, means if teacher feels koi bhi teacher mere school mein bhi agar feel karti hai ki this is the very tough topic so i just uh, tell them okay find out your keywords i'll be converting it into a kind of activity which will make it interesting and simple for students to understand so this is uh, what i would like to share and one more incident is there in 2003 when after my marriage i joined ravel international school as a teacher and i got a chance to mentor the pre primary wing teachers for the no bag policy it was a wonderful experience of my life within 6 months all the parents of my school were happy and satisfied with this revolutionary change in the school and you know the curriculum was planned by me at that time and uh, i still uh, feel that i did the great job and uh, parents if they still see me so they feel that it was really marvelous and they appreciate me for this and uh, i feel like these were the most important you know incidents that i have shared with you wow you know ma'am you are a true example of an innovative person who puts her heart and soul in whatever you do you know so because when we do that automatically the results come out beautifully because that is what we have thought of and we live by that thought day and night that i want to make this job better and better and you are helping out the teachers out there so that they can cre- get <laughs> more become more creative in their teaching it's such a beautiful and wonderful thing to do and i i don't know how did what was that no back no back policy because you know our parents are so much obsessed with academic learning that the, when you show them that no back they will be like in shock okay so we will not get to know what is going to happen in school what will our children learn if there is no bag so that that is incredible i mean you made parents happy that's not easy certainly not yes. so i think you truly demand a huge you know you are uh, you are having some kind of magic wand i'm sure and uh, i'm and now all the teachers can have the same with your channel and with your assistance so moving ahead in our questions now i think ma'am as i heard you about your work how passionately do you do your work there must be so many recognition and accolades that you might have received in your journey but i would like to know which is the one special award that is still awaiting you there is no limit of achievements but uh, actually i'm not looking for awards um but if you really want to know somewhere in the corner of my heart i feel that uh, every child should recognize what exactly i want to do and through them i mean as i said the parents at that time they were happy and satisfied so it is a kind of chain parents 
teachers and students when they work together it makes a beautiful world so i want and uh, you know the all the presidents and different agencies they are the part of the society and uh, from different countries if i'll start uh, getting that kind of um, you know achievements after doing some task and if they assign me to do something that will be the great achievement for me this is what i'm looking for still and i'm sure ma'am by the kind of work you're getting you're not far away this all is going to come to you very very soon so this is uh, what i wish for you moving ahead to our next question so you know as you mentioned that you have a youtube channel through which you know the teachers can learn and get creative so teaching is all about giving but in, in this journey of giving at times we get back criticism also you know that those are such bad moments or such times which we need to surpass somehow and during such times we need someone to support us so tell me who is that person whom you look upon for your inspiration advice and support wonderful question uh, seema we always close our eyes and try to remember those uh, days which actually motivates us so um first of all i would like to share about my mentor who taught me harmonium for the first time my own uncle late uh, mr s s kukul an international artist um he was a retired teacher of senek school pune and a great philosopher a true inspiration for me then i would like to share the name of mr ravel chairman of uh, ravel group of schools who always inspired me to understand the needs of every child he used to say har bacche ka naam yaad kar lo when i started as a teacher i mean i have learned a lot from sir um and uh, you know slowly slowly um i came to know that i have that ability to lead a team and there only i got the opportunity to become vice principal every individual is important this is what i understood then i would like to um, tell the name of mr taneja who inspired me and uh, um, i was there in eros and uh, he is the chairman of eros group of schools so mr taneja who inspired me to develop bonding before starting any kind of teaching learning process with any child and i'm really grateful to all of them because these uh, pointers are really important if we get stuck with any kind of problem if we start thinking in a very peaceful manner and if we think that they all are just like my family because wherever we are working that is a family so if we start thinking in such a manner definitely we get answers so i guess you will be able to understand my strength here absolutely ma'am you know no doubt all the learnings that you have they are no less than a treasure because you know the small small things the way the thing that you mentioned that you learn the name of every child when a teacher calls out the name of the child and she remembers it, the child feels so good oh she knows each and every person in the class and she knows them personally so that is a kind of connect and that is what is the power of remembering the names and the other uh, guidance were also so good that can be treasured and uh, they, they these are the one which other educators they follow i'm sure they are going to get the similar kind of success as you did and they will it will help them to sail through their tough processes also so moving ahead now to the very interesting segment of the show which is my favorite and is called rapid fire round so in this rapid fire round ma'am you have to answer in one word or a sentence all right mm mm-hmm. so we will be starting with the very first question the first question says that do you play sitar right so would it be possible for you to play a few notes of sitar for us <laughs> i used to play but now from last you can say uh, 10 years i haven't played and it will be little difficult for me but yes uh, i can teach still because you know uh, our uh, finger get actually habitual of playing it 
and now i mean i will take time to all right so, it becomes rough actually when you need, really want to play so that won't be possible right now okay no worries no worries ma'am <laughs> so talking about the beautiful musical instrument sitar and other musical instruments i would like to know from you what would you tell our parents that why they should ensure their child learns at least one musical instrument how can it help a child uh definitely either instrument or vocal whatever child wants to learn they should get into it because this nature is full of music and till the time we enjoy this we will not be able to understand what nature is you know you know music is everywhere just like god once i started writing on self realization it is basically to know what exactly is there in us god is a supreme power and music is a form of god if we really want to achieve we we must catch one of the artistic quality and just forget about world just do whatever is coming from the heart definitely will reach that heights so still i'm trying and i feel that yes it shows a path beautifully explained ma'am you know today i'm sure every parent who's hearing this out would understand that why they should must ensure that their child is connected to music ultimately yes. they are connecting them to nature and to the god so it's such a wonderful expression of what music is all about moving ahead to the next question apart from music what all are the other activities that you perform in your recreational time i love to have fun with kids that's my favorite and secondly i love to do i love to write poems and i'm very quick in writing um secondly i love to sing then um, i would like to share sometimes i love to do uh, sketching also wow so many hobbies you have and you're such a talented person there is so much more for us to know about you so ma'am you told you said that you write poems you sing so any one thing that you can do for us can you recite few lines of the poem written by you or you can just hum few lines of of your favorite song itni khoobsurti se aap mere andar tak उतरते जा रहे हो इतनी खूबसूरती से आप मेरे अंदर तक उतरते जा रहे हो जानना चाहते हो कि क्या क्या है और सब कुछ गुनगुना रहे हो आई क्विकली रोट फॉर यू wow this is incredible i mean wow beautiful ma'am you're really gifted such a such beautiful words and in just two lines you said so much i i feel so honored you know i can't tell you how happy i am to hear this wow Thank wonderful you. moving ahead to the next question my next question says that if you were supposed to change one thing in uh, about the current generation what would that be see i whenever i hear that kids are more sensitive nowadays i don't like this statement so i want everyone to change this statement because if you think don't you think that we were sensitive towards our parents don't you think that our parents were more sensitive towards towards their you know my grandparents or whatever so it's not that they are more sensitive they are becoming more introvert so we need to be little more careful because it is our duty to give good platform and good parental you know needs we need to take care of wonderful so coming down to that last question in this segment you are multifaceted personality you have such wonderful hobbies you are mother to so many children out there and i'm sure th- there are your own also to take care so how do you manage work life balance i plan my day before going to sleep and 
I want to finish everything, whatever I plan. And if I miss, so it makes me a little restless. Somewhere this is my weakness also. All right. So planning, yes, planning is required in everything we do. And that is how we can strike a perfect balance. Wonderful, ma'am. It was great to know you in this segment. I learned so much about you that apart from being an educator, what all you do, what are your likings? And I was really surprised by the quick poem that you wrote. It was such a wonderful thing. Now we have reached to the last question of the show, which is called viewers choice question. So my viewers ask me that. They say that beside formal education, educators are also advocates of peace and compassion. These behaviors are necessary for a child to lead a respectable life. So tell us, how essential are positive behavior in today's life? It is really essential to be positive. Always. It's not uh, only for the current scenario. It was applicable earlier and it will be applicable in the future too. I think it is very important to understand what is positive behavior and or positive attitude. We all know this pandemic has changed everybody's life. We all have faced many challenges, but on the other hand, we got many blissful moments too. Rather than thinking about the problems, we must cherish those good moments and try to be happy with whatever we receive during these days. And we should be thankful to God. Yeah. See, I wanted to share that my father, late Dr. Kartar Singh, whom I lost last year, used to tell stories to me. And that are the main source of positivity, actually for me. So, uh, which I share with my kids also. Recently, I have launched a book with the title, Mere Daddy. It is a collection of poetries in which I have tried to inspire everyone with small, small incidents and positivity behind it. I strongly believe that if we truly believe in values, it helps us to be positive. Nowadays, in this virtual era, many organizations are working to create positivity in this world by sharing stories, of successful people of the current era, like Meetex, Show by S. S. Chindo, uh, Dr. Aruna's head show, and especially I'm thankful to all of you because you people are also trying to create positivity among everyone. Because when we share something good, it creates good. Life is just like a mirror. If we face it smilingly, it will smile back to us. So this is what I would like to give as a message to everyone wonderful very beautifully described how important are positive values in our life and how it shapes us how it support us throughout our whole you know any of the tough times also when we have these positive values with us there is nothing which we cannot overcome so ma'am you know i think today you made me think twice and uh, i understood that if anything my mind can conceive and if i believe in it that then i can certainly achieve it so there is you know as uh, from your journey i understood this that uh, nothing is impossible because if, i think for you the word impossible also says that i am possible so i think we all need to unveil the power of belief we need to believe that we can achieve something and then certainly we will so ma'am you know it was wonderful to hear you there are so many things still left but we are time bound and i don't think i can cover your vast journey and so much of talent that you have i can share it in this short episode but yes i tried my best and it was really really grateful to hear you i cherished every answer and this episode will be really very close to my heart thank you so much for your time with us thank you seema it was really nice to hear you and to answer you thank you